In this section, we get introduced to the idea of constants. All right, so let's just start with the simplest constant we can. All right, just the, the simplest type of problem we can. And it's saying that c is a constant. And what that means is that c is some fixed number. Maybe it's 2, maybe it's 5, maybe it's 30, 1,000. We just don't know. But even if we don't know, we can still take the derivative with respect to x. Right, so x is the thing that varies here. We don't see x in this formula. If we're just if we're just taking the derivative of a number, no matter what number it is, if I said take the derivative of five, you'd say, well, it's zero. Right? If I said take the derivative of twenty, you'd tell me, well, it's zero. And so what we can figure out from that is, well, no matter what number I'm giving you, as long as it's just a fixed constant, the derivative's going to be zero. Now the same idea down here. All right, what's the thing that's varying here? Well, t is the thing that's varying and we want to say well we don't know what number b is but I want you to take the derivative of b times t squared so for instance if it was 5 right so the derivative of 5t squared would go to 10 times t right or if you wrote out the steps in between it would be 5 times 2t which would be 10t similarly if b was equal to like 10, right? 10t 10 squared, you'd have 10 times 2t, which is equal to 20t, right? And it's just saying, well, we just don't know what number b is, but take it anyway. We don't know if it's 5 or 10, but take the derivative anyway. And so we're just going to write this first step that we wrote here. So it's really b times 2t, right? This is the power rule from the earlier section. And if I want to simplify this, I could write 2b times t, right? Which is the same thing I got over here, right? When b was 5, I got 10t. So 2 times 5 is 10. When b was 10, I got 20t. 2 times 10 is 20. So the idea is, even if you don't know what number b is, you can still take the derivative. Let's look at this last one. So this last one, the, the quantity that's allowed to vary, the thing that's not a constant, is q. And we want to take the derivative of d times ln of q. And so if we want to get f prime of x, we just have to pretend that d is just some number. Maybe it's 5. So if d was 5, I would just say, well, the derivative is going to be, the derivative is going to be d, because it's a constant, times this thing that I already know how to take the derivative of, 1 over q. And I could simplify that to d over q. So if you're getting confused about this, whenever it tells you something's a constant, feel free to just put in a number, but don't ever kind of simplify things, right? Don't change this 10 times 2 to a 20. Just change it to a number, and then when you're, when you're kind of done at the end, go back and change them all to letters again, right? So let's, let's do a few more complicated examples. So we want to take, in this first example, we want to take the derivative with respect to t of 2a plus c times e to the t. So a and c are the constants here, right? t is the thing that's allowed to vary. Now how about this 2a? So what's the derivative of 2a? So 2 times a number is still just a number, right? 2 times 5, let's say a was 5, it has to be fixed, 2 times 5 would be 10. So the derivative of 10 is still 0. Now how about the derivative of c times e to the t? Well this is a constant times something that I know how to take the derivative of. So I'm just going to leave that constant alone, c times, and the derivative of e to the t, remember, is just e to the t. So if I want to simplify this, the derivative of this whole thing here is just c e to the t. No matter what numbers a and c are, no matter what fixed values they are, the derivative of this expression is c e to the t. Let's look at this one. So the thing that's allowed to vary here is p, right? So everything except for p is a constant. And so again, we're going to get the same thing. No matter what number b is, the derivative of 9 times that number is just 0, right? So the derivative of 9 times 10, the derivative of 90 is 0. How about the derivative of this thing over here? 6d times ln of p. Well, so this 6d is all one giant constant on its own. No matter what number d is, 6d is still going to be a number. And I know how to take the derivative of this thing. So what I'm going to have is I'll have 6d, my number out in front, times the derivative of this, right? So 1 over p. 
And so my final answer here, if I simplify it, would be 6D divided by P. So big idea, just kind of pretend the things that are constants are numbers. Take the derivative like you normally would, but just remember that these things are kind of like fixed values.